It's film theory, but every time MatPat makes a cringy joke, it gets faster. Just like the B-movie memes, which are 2017's most unbelievable trend. But for me, no meme is too strange, no internet trend too dumb. When it comes to exploring the dankest of memes, you might say, we are number one. So today we're looking at a meme that's gonna require a lot of math. More than just a little dabble, do ya? <laughs> Welcome to Film Theory, where, let's face it, it's early in the year and all the most theorizable new movies aren't coming out for a couple of months. And sure, while I'm just as excited for Fifty Shades Darker as the next guy, the most exciting things to be talking about these days are internet trends. But not just any internet trends, internet trends about movies. Internet trends about really bad movies where Jerry Seinfeld is a bee trying to get it on with a human. Got everything? Yes, my friends, today is an A-plus theory about the B movie. Or rather, a theory on the ultimate meme that took YouTube by storm over the last couple months. Now, I know you've seen it because of the weird ways YouTube forces you to watch stuff like this. The entire movie without the bees. Or when they say B, the video speeds up. But then it started to go off the rails. As the meta-ness of this started to spiral in on itself and more memes got looped in. Kind of like a Sharknado. It just became a parody of itself. Suddenly, we started to see things like and mind you, this is an actual video on YouTube that was actually edited together by someone. The B-movie trailer, but every time they say B, it's we are number one. But every time it says one, it's the Legend 27 commercial. But for every third the Legend 27 commercial, its base is boosted beyond comprehension. But the second to last one in every we are number one is replaced by Bren Daniel reading the entire B-movie script. Also, the fourth we are number one is the Dank Edition. And you would think, you would think, think that this is all just for the lols, but no, this is an actual 8 hour, 47 minute movie where the channel Dr. Scrubbington edited together exactly that. Based on those rules, B-movie, we are number one, the Legend 27 all in one. We've got a bingo! We've got a mean bingo over here! Bingo! The only thing it's missing is bottle flipping a dab in Harambe. So, of course, leave it to the good readers of dank memes and Reddit to take this already absurd trend and blow it absolutely out of proportion. In an effort to take this to the absolute max, they created the ultimate B-movie mod, and I quote, One, the entire Ice Age pentology, but every syllable is replaced with the entire Toy Story trilogy. But two, every second that the color green is in frame, it's replaced with every video ever uploaded onto YouTube. But three, for every ten seconds, every episode of The Simpson plays. But four, every word with a vowel is replaced with the B-movie. But five, every time a B is shown, it's replaced with every episode of Spongebob played backwards. Stupid? Of course it is. Funny? Well, I thought so. But what really got me was that in the picture, they have this huge number for the runtime in there for comedic effect. And after I gave this post one enormously sarcastic eye roll, it got me thinking, how long would this video actually be? It seems like an impossible question. I mean, look at some of the things you have to solve for. But impossible is my middle name. Matthew Robert Danger Impossible Patrick. And sure, there are some answers online in these Reddit threads, but, um, I did the math, and they are completely wrong. So just like a Lannister always pays his debts, so too does a theorist always show his work. And today is dedicated to determining the length of the longest, memeiest video ever conceived. Sharpen those number two pencils for some of the dankest math you've ever seen. So right now, you might be reacting like this guy. Algorithms! But here's the good news. Although this sounds really complicated, the math we can use to solve it all isn't hard. It's just a bunch of multiplication. Since we're just replacing something from one show or movie with something else, if we can calculate the number of times each replacement action happens, we can use good old multiplication to go from the inside out. Parentheses within parentheses within parentheses. Parentheses for when math gets meta. So as long as we're keeping track of our units, we should be fine. The bad news, though, is that we're going to be getting into the territory of really scarily large numbers. But hey, you can put a lot of big numbers into the TI-83 silver edition, of course, so we should be fine. Growing up, we didn't have enough money to buy the silver edition calculator. I was always really jealous of everyone who had it. Talk about your hashtag first world problems. Hey, but real talk, that one came preloaded with games, which was pretty sweet. 
right? Now, starting at the end of the prompt and working our way backwards makes the most sense because it has the simplest parameters. So to begin, we turn to the overlord of memedom himself, SpongeBob SquarePants. The original meme stipulates that the episodes of SpongeBob be played backwards, but as long as we're playing them at a standard speed, it's not gonna change how long they are, so it's an easy number to find. At the time of this recording, we've been asked about the resident of a pineapple under the sea 205 times in all. Take out all the commercial breaks, and each episode is gonna clock in at about 22 minutes, or 1,320 seconds. The total time for the whole series, then, figures out to be 270,600 seconds, meaning that if you can give up sleep, work, school, and the toilet, you can actually catch up with the entirety of SpongeBob's misadventures in a little over three days straight. Spoiler alert, you still won't know the Krabby Patty secret formula, but you might just get a chuckle out of the fact that Mr. Krabs lives in a place called Bikini Bottom. Get it? Crabs? Bikini Bottom? Edgy. A kind of smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells... smelly. And sure, only three days might sound like we're getting off to a slow start, but remember, that's three solid days of SpongeBob for every single instance of the other rules. So are you ready for more math? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Math! figured you might be. Let's continue. The next layer outward is the bee movie rule. We play those SpongeBob SquarePants episodes every time we see a bee in the bee movie. Now, in a shocking development, there are actually a lot of bees in the bee movie. But here's where we have to start interpreting the meme a little bit. What does it mean by every time we see a bee? One run through of SpongeBob for every bee in every frame? That seems a bit like overkill. Instead, I opted for a slightly more conservative approach. Every second, a bee was in the frame throughout the movie. The runtime of bee movie, if you cut out all the credits and the DreamWorks stuff at the beginning is 82 minutes and 4 seconds. Bee movie without the bees, on the other hand, is a paltry 12 minutes and 28 seconds, meaning that there are 69 minutes and 36 seconds worth of pervy bees looking to have an interspecies romance. And the Thank you so much again hey. for before. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but, but anyway. Ah, 69 minutes. I see what you did there. Completely by coincidence, Bee Movie. I mean, what's the deal with bees trying to get it on with human women? Who thought that that would be a good idea at the box office? Am I right? Jerry Seinfeld? The guy who called YouTube the garbage can of content? It's thanks to us that anyone even cares about that stupid movie of yours. Go have more coffee with comedians in cars. Anyway, that puts us at 7,136 seconds or 7,136 36 times that we're gonna have to play all those Spongebob episodes all the way through. Well, actually, it's 7,136 runs of every Spongebob episode for every one of our next rule. Every single episode of The Simpsons, but every word spoken that contains a vowel being replaced with the B-movie, which is yada yada yada, that's another Seinfeld thing, you get the point by now. The Simpsons is currently in the midst of its 28th season, and has aired 609 different episodes. So, how many cromulent words and big in each episode of The Simpsons? Well, we studied the transcripts of a few different Simpsons episodes, including ones with wordless montages, like Last Exit to Springfield, as well as those with a lot of dialogue, like Homie the Clown. The average number of words per Simpsons script was about 2,145. And because most words have a vowel in there somewhere, we just assume that it was 100%. So, 2,145 times 609 episodes means 1.3 million words over the course of those 609 episodes. In other words, that's one point three million times we'd have to repeat all the previous conditions. Don't have a cow. And now we get to the big one. The runtime of all the videos ever uploaded to YouTube. You'd think as someone who's lived and breathed YouTube for years now that I'd have the inside track on this one, but uh, no. This one I actually have to calculate out. YouTube keeps a lot of stats close to its chest. But using previously talked about statistics can get us a pretty darn good estimate. Projections from late 2015 claim that YouTube had 500 hours of video uploaded every minute, which would likely be even higher now with YouTube's continued growth. So if you take previous announcements from YouTube on its yearly upload rates, with my personal favorite being 2012's YouTube April Fool's video, which stated an, an hour of video is uploaded to YouTube every second. Wow, an hour a second? Oh my god, it's nearly 10 times that five years later. That is insane! And most of those minutes are B-movie memes, or thousand degree knife videos. Ooh, what's it gonna cut through this time? Oh, I bet it cuts through the shoe. Yeah, it cut through the shoe. Ooh, I bet it cuts through the ice. Wow, a hot knife melted ice, no duh. Speaking of thousand degree knife videos, it's like the only trend that's not being covered in this video. Get with it, thousand degree knife videos. Become meme-ish. Anyway, by using this graph and similar ones that list off average bulk time of video uploaded to YouTube, 
YouTube Every Hour broken down by the year, you get over 630 million hours of video that have ever been uploaded to YouTube. And since we're measuring it in seconds, well, yeah, you should probably just stop thinking about the raw numbers at this point and instead think about Keyboard Cat, one of the greatest talents to ever appear on this site across those 630 million plus hours. Next step to Toy Story and beyond. The three Toy Story movies have a total runtime of 4 hours, 36 minutes, and 40 scenes that kick you right in the feels. So that's a total runtime of 16,561 seconds. Now the rule here is that for every one of those seconds in which the color green is visible in the frame, this supersized meme repeats all the previously mentioned steps. And it's here that I have to make a bit of a confession. Forgive me, internet, for I have sinned. I didn't study all 397,464 frames of all three Toy Story movies. Because honestly, that's what it would take. With 24 frames per second and 16,561 seconds of movie, it's nearly 400,000 frames to explore. It just can't be done. But what I did do is take selected clips from each of the three movies, slow them down, and determine what percentage of time green was visible. It averaged out to be a staggering 84.6% of the time. And it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Buzz has green on him, Rex is green, the army men are green, the aliens are green, the furniture's green, all the outdoor scenes with trees and grass are green, Sid's eyes are green. There is a lot of green in these movies, especially for Pixar. Am I right? cha -ching! But seriously, that's why they're creating a fourth Toy Story movie, right? Shameless cash grab? I like money! Anywho, I digress. 16,561 seconds times 84.6% of seconds with green in them rounds out to 14,011 seconds in which the color green is in frame throughout the Toy Story trilogy. Oh, we are almost there, guys. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Ice Age movies. Everything we've calculated so far is repeated for every single syllable in all five... Wait. Five? There have been five Ice Age movies? Man! I missed a couple of those. All right, so every syllable in each Ice Age movie forces us to repeat everything we've calculated so far. When I first started working on this episode, I thought for sure that this one would be the hardest one to calculate, but I was surprisingly able to get a pretty exact calculation by taking the transcripts, spoken dialogue only, for each of the five movies, cutting it into manageable pieces, and then running it through an automated syllable counter. Granted, the syllable counter couldn't recognize a few words, like scratch, but it did give us the otherwise reasonable count of 34,085 syllables across the five movies. Oh, and with that, it's time to recap. We have the 270,600 seconds of SpongeBob footage repeated 7,136 times for every second of Visible Bees in B-Movie, which is shown once for every one of the 1,306,105 words spoken with the vowel in the Simpsons canon. <gasps> Ay, caramba! Which is then repeated every 10 seconds of the 630,720,000 hours of video that have ever been uploaded to YouTube, which rolls 14,011 times due to the green seconds in Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, which all plays once for every single one of the 34,085 syllables in the Ice Age pentology. Make sure that you've converted it all to seconds, multiplied it all the way through, then convert it to years, and we get the drum roll! Roll worthy number of. I said the drum roll worthy number of. God. Seriously, where's the drum roll? What? Are you kidding me? Well, can we at least get a, like a, I don't know, dramatic horn blow or something? What? Are you, are you, fine, fine. If that's the best we can do, fine. <sighs> the dramatic slide whistle worthy number of. <clears throat> Eight octillion six hundred seventy-two septillion one hundred twenty-seven sextillion four hundred eighty-two quintillion years. Or just about eight and a half octillion years if you round down. Now, if you're like me, you hear a number like that and you're like, what the heck does that mean? And yeah, when you're talking about numbers this huge, it's really hard to wrap your head around. So let's look at this giant number from a couple different angles. First, it's worth noting that Earth, as a planet, has been around a little bit more than four and a half billion years. And the whole universe, about 13.7 billion years. Now, billion and octillion might both sound like impossibly large numbers, but trust me, octillions are way bigger. If you started playing this video from the moment the Big Bang occurred 
straight through to today, you would be less than 1% of the way through the YouTube videos, which would mean that you're on the first second of Toy Story and the first spoken syllable of Ice Age. Remember that there are 34,000 syllables of Ice Age to get through, and it took us from the Big Bang to now, and we're still only on the first one. Scientists estimate that the sun will explode in the next 4 to 5 billion years, taking Earth with it. So by the time the planet Earth ceases to exist, this video would still be going on. This is also around the time that the universe is supposed to die via heat death, so time and space will come to an end, but bad movie memes will outlive us all. So how do you illustrate a length of time that's truly longer than the lifespan of the universe? What is the best way to convey to you how long this video is? Let me put it this way. Let's say that we set up a race where one person sets out to watch this video from start to finish, and another person puts all of Earth's water into one giant eyedropper, and then tries to refill all those bodies of water one drop or one milliliter at a time. The person with the giant eyedropper would still win if they only put in one drop, one milliliter of water every 5,000 years. Ever tried to fill an ocean with an eyedropper? One drop every 5,000 years? It is gonna take a while. And don't even get me started on how long that damn video would take to buffer. But hey, that's just a theory. A film theory. And cut.